for 20 years, I've been building a brand around this idea of community, telling all of my fans and audience that you all have a sense of ownership. It is, they do better, we do better. But that was also a lie. I'm getting to eat well, I'm getting to travel well, and then I'm seeing my customers go consuming and consuming. Here was the first time that I was like, oh, we can actually mm. reframe this relationship between purveyor and consumer, redistribution of wealth, power. We should all somehow be involved in the same conversation. Michael Jordan was the influencer. He does have a right to share in the upside because he is partially the reason why the shoes sell so well. So you don't even need to have social media. Yeah. You go to your barbershop and they see what you're wearing and you're an interesting totally. person. They're gonna be like, oh, I want that. I'm not saying we deserve 50% of a product, but like 0.001%, you know, yeah. because we did have some involvement in the success of whatever that product was. Part of that equation is people feeling worthy enough to think that they matter enough mm. to be 